Hi guys, so this is video five of Duke and Prince and we're going to be working on desensitising. So how many of us have got spooky horses that don't like hacking out of the wind, have to be really thoughtful about what showground we go to um, and, you know, they knock our confidence a little bit. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you two young cobs that have done literally next to nothing. One's rising three, one's rising four. The four-year-old, which is the Darker Bay Duke, um, has had an interesting start. We don't quite know what's happened to him. Um, and sometimes it's best not to. So I'm very thoughtful about how I work him. I really want to understand what he can and can't cope with, what his responses are to different things, to spooky things. Um, and that's going to give me the confidence on the ground to be able to help him better um, and get that real kind of understanding for when I then back him and get on. So I'm going to show you a range of clips. Um, we're going to be starting in the field with things that you can make um, nice and easy. Uh, we're moving on to working the horses in the yard with the start of horse agility. So this video is only a couple of weeks in from me owning these two boys. Um, I'm a few months down the line from this video here and I'm really excited to say that Duke's got his first horse agility with a little mini competition at the weekend. So I'm really looking forward to that. So guys, on the video, um, you'll see there's a little subscribe button and a bell. The bell is basically for you to click on if you want to see more videos. So it will then just send you notifications so that you know that I've put another video on. Um, so yeah, if you want to watch, please click. Hope you enjoy. I'm going to start with this picture because it's my absolute favourite. We've got Prince sussing out the camera there. Then we're going to move on to the streamer. So some of you might recognise these as the old fashioned fly curtains that we used to put in the doorways. Um, a friend very kindly made this for me. Again, guys, really easy. Bits of ribbon, bits of string. Or you can make them with all sorts of things. So how I start mine off is loose in the field and I might just wander around there. Today's perfect because it's a windy day. Um, and depending on how they react to this, like when I first put the show jump pole out in the field and they went, what's that? Um, just put it out and walk away. Give them the time to kind of go up and assess it. But I've done this over a matter of days where I've just gone in, wandered around the field, but not gone anywhere near them and walked out again. And I've built on it. So you can see here that both of them are, they've got their eye on it, but they're still quite happily eating. So they're not too fussed. But I'd like Duke to come up and react with me and he's not quite there yet. So I put it down and let him take his time. Let him process and actually, it's, it's a real shame because I've lost the video where he picks it up and starts playing around with it in the air. It's a real shame. Um, but again, here, he gets his confidence. He sniffs it. Yeah, that's fine. He's actually quite brave. He just needs that little bit of time to take it in and process. So now I feel, OK, he's confident. He's ready. So I'm going to come back in. I'm going to pick it up. And I'm just going to see if I can lift it up get a little bit closer and you know what he's a quick learner he's kind of gone yeah that's okay I can cope with that so I'm really pleased good pony and you can see Prince in the background he's not fast he's kind of ticked that box there's a fun couple of pictures here of both of them with me playing around with it right up in the air both sniffing it going under it going through it here they're kind of looking at me as if say hmm, what's she cooking up next and that's a lovely little picture. So the next thing I've played around with is a plastic bag on the end of a schooner whip. Again, cheap and easy to make um, and just good fun. So again, I've just wandered around the field with it for a few days. Um, you can tell who's in first. <laughs> it's always Prince. And I think this is Duke's way of kind of sussing out. If Prince survives, then maybe I will. Um, but he just always hovers back. He's eating grass, pretending he's not interested, but actually he is. I do love this pony. He's so sweet. He's going to be so confident. It's all about time. And again, you can see Duke here. He's not quite sure, but he wants to be in the attention. He wants to be part of it. So he's just giving Prince the eye there, as if say, my turn. And once he realises it's not going to heal him, he starts to have a little bit of a nosy and a nibble then I've moved on to 
just playing around with it on his body. Now, he really needs desensitising, touching him, doing anything around him. He's not comfortable. Um, and before I start putting tack on and things like that, it would be nice that he's confident for me to be able to do these things. Everyone needs a cocker spaniel bouncing around in the grass. That's definitely a good spook buster. So now I've moved on to my flag. I love my flag. I think this is a great thing. Again, really easy. Bit of material on the end of a stick. Get a marker pen. You could put silly faces on it, different colours on it, hang bits of string off it. Um, it's a great photo. And who's in first? Yep, Prince again. Um, so here it's quite windy. Perfect. And again, I've taken quite a few days of building up to this. Um, I'm going to hold the flag up high. I'm going to step away. You can see Duke's body language. You know, he's he's quite interested, but he's just going to let Prince take in first and just make sure that everything's going to be safe. The two of them here, I just think is absolutely adorable. Two best friends getting confidence from each other. And that's what's so nice about these two. They really do work well together. But again, Prince's attention spans about three seconds. He's gone off to play with the cone. Duke here is still interested, so while he is, I'm going to keep the flag up there. As he starts to lose interest, start looking elsewhere, I'm going to pop the flag down, change the subject. You don't want to do anything for too long, they get bored. Um, he's still learning that, you know, I'm a good human. So I'm going to just quietly step in here. And you see everything I do with him for the first few weeks is just calm and quiet. I almost want him to come to me. So guys, moving on to some horse agility. So I've taken my time here. I started off with one noodle, um, building up to two. These guys were quite confident. So you don't start off like this. And if you do, you're very lucky. Here you've got some um, poles and then milk bottles. These are great. They make a great noise. Again, you wouldn't face the horse at it straight away. But I'm just showing you here that actually the stuff we've done in the field, they've built their confidence up and they were quite happy. Little Prince here. Um... He's more interested in what's going on in the churchyard. But because he's confident, I've put them closer together. Moving on to the bottles with him, um, I didn't want to overface him. So I thought I'd put a few little treats down. Not something I normally do, but I just thought it would be um, helpful for him to kind of put his nose down and have a nozzle through. He wasn't bothered. He just walked straight through. Dead easy. Hope you enjoyed the sequence of videos there. Any questions, guys, please ask. Um, if you would like me to do a specific video um, or you need some tips and help, then yeah, just ask. You can email me on samturnerdressage.co.uk. You can message me on Sam Turner Dressage Facebook page. Um, and again, put some comments on here. Any ideas that you've got, I would love to see. It's all about sharing. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to watch more videos, then please hit that little bell um, and it'll inform you when I do some more.